get us ready for this. We used their technology to strengthen our planet. But it won't be enough. I see them in my dreams. They're coming back. I'm just gonna go for the most obvious question first. Yeah, Why, because. Because I can. Yeah. Why is Dr. Oaken in this movie? Uh, well, they asked me. You know, I didn't force my way in. They actually asked me to be in it, and uh, glad I am, uh, as I'm sure you are. Very much so. <laughs> well, there you go. I am too. Yeah. <laughs> you should uh, be. You know yes. what? Uh, people assume Dr. Oaken died in the first movie. I don't know why they make that assumption. My eyes were open. Uh, this guy, uh, he, he, he picks me up, Adam Baldwin, the dreaded Adam Baldwin, picks me up, he puts his fingers on my neck, and I'm going, I wanted to look at him and go, you're not a doctor, you're a soldier, what are you putting your fingers on my neck? <laughs> you know, but he didn't say anything. Yes. And so, cut He's two, back. cut two. Here I am. I was watching the movie on my way here just to inspect that scene, and he does give a look that doesn't definitively say, like, this guy's dead. Mm. No, he actually, this is a little secret. He had a line that he said, he's dead, and they cut the line. They knew way they back knew. then. They knew this was going to happen. Yeah, they did, actually. We couldn't make a sequel without him. Come Are on. you kidding me? Yeah. You need your character to make a sequel, but yes. at the same time, you need to make sure that they can add more to her. So is there anything in the script that made you think, I can build upon what I did in the first film? Oh, absolutely. I mean, the, the character has to grow up. Um, and the beautiful thing is that Jasmine is no longer stripping on the pole, that she's now a hospital administrator, and her son, played by the fabulous Jesse Usher, is gonna go up and fight alien, kick some alien butt for us, and we appreciate that. He's a fighter pilot, and she's urging him to be strong and, you know, to step into Stephen Hiller's shoes and make, make me proud. Is there a reason I'm talking to you guys on the Africa set? Uh, oh. well, it's kind of a tribute to me, I guess. And, 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 and you and know. my African roots. It, yes, exactly. Yeah. That's why they put us together. Yep. You know? I was wondering why the pairing happened also. Well. I'm trying to piece the plot together in my head. Well, it, I can it, tell you the pairing happened because he's a doctor and now I'm working in the hospital. Duh. Mm. Come on. That's right. And stay with us here. The, the, the Albuquerque here. air is exactly. getting to me. Exactly. That and no one else would agree to sit with me. So. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever come up with the reason why he ended up working in Area 51 to begin with? And like how long of his life he spent there? Uh, well, yes, but uh, you know, that's all actor stuff. You know, that's backstory. There is a book. Uh, there was a pocket book that was the story of Dr. Oaken uh, that came out after the movie was released. Uh, I don't know what it's called. I think it's called. Maybe it's called Dr. Oaken, or just Oaken, or something. Mm. But they did. They came out with a pocketbook about this character. I mean, I had 30 seconds in the movie, and the oh, book yeah, is like, been 30 well, I had more seconds. Than 30 seconds. You were but. great. Another very important question that I've been dying to ask. Yes. Obviously, Boomer is no longer with us. So Aww. is there another dog in the movie? No. I, I think now that she's working as a hospital administrator that, you know, and then her, hus her son being a fighter pilot, that she's got her hands full. Yeah, but yeah. that's understandable. Boomer, rest in peace. No, poor Boomer. Boomer. Yeah. yeah. Can you tell me a little bit about reuniting with Roland so many years later? Is there anything about his process making the first film versus this one that's really changed? He's very, Roland is def definitely um, paying attention to detail. Um, like um, in, in my scenes, like he really made sure that when we recall Will Smith's character, Stephen, that we made sure that he, he really paid attention to the details of certain certain props, certain like thing. He really is very detail oriented. That's what I found out. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Having made both of these movies, let's say an alien invasion really happened. What tips would you give people in order to survive? Run! Oh, run. No. <laughs> uh, that's, uh, yeah. Uh, right. Uh, call, uh, call Roland Emmerich and he'll tell you what to do. <laughs>